Okay, this one's about water usage in the heat pump in heating mode. How much water does it use uh, at different temperatures and so on. I've got a few demonstrations here to kind of show you what I've done. Okay, with our uh, water source heat pump in the heating mode, we are testing the discharge temperature of the water and we're running about 39.9, 39.7. We're going to call that 40. 40 is about as low as I'm comfortable with. I'm sometimes not so comfortable with that low. Uh, we don't want to freeze our water. Okay, and I'm going to see what the gallons per minute are at this temperature. Okay, here's the number I came up with, and it's 27.2 seconds to fill one gallon jug, and I'll calculate that for you, four gallons per minute. Okay, it's taken 2.2 uh, gallons per minute, the way it's running right now, and we're gonna make some adjustments. Okay, here's a look at our uh, suction head on this. Uh, with that 40 degree temperature water, I'm below freezing here, which bothers me a bit. Uh, the head is probably fairly close to what you'd expect. I got an ambient coming in of about 70 degrees, 70 degrees. Uh, the super eats about right, but I'm going to see if I can raise this up a little bit. Now I can raise this with the water valve because I'm going to adjust that water valve. Okay, remember we're running about 40 degrees, 40 degree water temperature, uh, water's coming in 55. So let's see if we can put a little more water through that thing. Okay, I've adjusted the water valve on this thing to get me 45 degree water. And you can see, if you look at that water going into the bucket there, it's uh, quite a bit more water. So we're going to do a gallons per minute on this one too and see how it comes out. By adjusting the water valve to increase the temperature to a little over 45 degrees, we have increased the gallons per minute of this thing considerably. Now we've got 15.2 seconds to fill a gallon jug. So you can see there's quite a bit of difference and I'll do the calcs on it. Okay, now we've increased this <clears throat> with a 45 degree temperature. We're at 3.94, which is almost four gallons per minute that we're running through this thing to raise that temperature to 45. Okay, uh, with the higher airflow at 45 degree water coming out, uh, we're just, I see this a lot in these things. I don't really like the way they come out, but I'm not sure we're gonna do any better than that 54.4. It probably is not freezing up because there's a temperature difference, but it always kind of bothers me that it's that low and most of these I've worked on have been kind of like this. These are kind of an odd duck and they're picky about their charge. You know, if you don't have any newer dryers in, you know, replace dryers, oversized dryers, something like that, uh, you can use the factory charge in these things. And that's pretty much what I've put in this thing. And 54.4, uh, 14.3 on the superheat, 269 on the head and I don't have a uh, liquid line temperature because this thing doesn't have a liquid line when it's in heat. I filled around a little bit with the charge and got this thing a little bit higher so maybe a little better suction pressure. Okay these kind of look like the final numbers with the 45 degree uh, water. It's 45, 46 degrees. Uh, Super Eat 10.6, uh, 58 
on the suction pressure. It's a little bit on the low side. If I feed more water to it, it doesn't seem to make a lot of difference. 284 on the head, which is about normal for this 70 degree return air. Uh, 70 to 72 degrees on the return. So, uh, with 45 degree water, it comes out fairly good. I'd like it like a higher suction, but the issue with this one may be, you know, this thing's a good 30 years old. It may have some uh, buildup on the uh, water coil. Uh, I never thought these things were all that the pressures came out all that great when they were new. Uh, I didn't. I never really thought these were very well engineered. Uh, it didn't seem like they were. Maybe I'm full of crap and just don't know. But uh, this is what you know. If I was leaving this thing, I guess I'd leave it at this. It's using an awful lot of water, but that's probably what I'd leave it at because I'd want to make sure it didn't freeze. Uh, but like I said, you know, I'm dealing with an old, old unit that, that may have uh, iron deposits or something like that built up on the inside, and, which is insulating between the two. Because even if I've had this down to 37 degrees on the outlet water, and the freeze stat still never shut it off. So that may be what's going on. Anyway, uh, that's... Uh, Water usage, just the water valve until you get the, the usage uh, you're looking for and the pressures you're looking for. Hope this thing makes some sense. I'll do one on charging one of these things here right quick.